Well, that's football. It's episode six already. Episode six of the Aston Villa career mode. Let's have a quick look at the homepage and see how we are doing. We are currently top of the league with with Leeds. Swansea a point just behind us. So, uh, yep, Christmas period of time as well. So big, big games coming up as usual. And um, let's see how we get on. So let's continue with that. We need to get a couple of wins here. We've got Preston away, and then we got uh, I think we've got QPR at home, which is a, a team that's in the top fit, top six, which is a, a challenge. Um, thoughts on the Grealish incident, says Baba Rashid. Well, obviously Grealish is part of my team for this uh, this football manager career mode, and it's just disgusting. It happened with Chris Smalling yesterday. I mean, it wasn't a punch, but it was somebody touching somebody, and I think that is uh, that is. Um, uh, not 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 desirable of course uh united tid says hi mark we'll try again here as you didn't read this on the united stand any news on the trial invites about 100 subs to 400k on the united stand everybody says united tid yeah um to be blunt with united tid if you've not had an email yet you've probably not been invited to a trial i'm not totally in control of that but i know a lot of emails went out on the weekend for people who um are um who have been at, at uh invited so there you go uh not bothered about you not bothered about you continue mark can you talk about the Grealish on your podcast says matty mckenna yeah maybe can develop that a little bit more jared's on the house hello jared and uh Grealish was attacked by a steward as well says harry thomas yeah well the steward was arrested as well wasn't it? it's ridiculous it's ridiculous um i mean there is a bit of a moral question there i mean look I was looking at some of the AFTV stuff because it got sent to me today, and they're mentioning me. But I was I was I was listening to some of their reactions, and they've won a game of football, and they're calling people pricks. They're going, "You fucking this, you fucking that," and I'm like, "Is it any wonder that fans are running on the pitch and attacking other pl attacking players when there's so much aggression in football still? You've won a game of football. Where's the humility? Where's the you know? I I mean, look, there's videos of me reacting to football matches and being annoyed by it, but you know that's just that's just frustration at a performance from an individual player or a result. And I'm over it very, very quick. And it's not aggressive or violent, but that needs to be removed from football. As I said yesterday, the fan who ran onto the pitch, realistically, he needs to be not just banned from football. I think that's a given. I think he needs to go to prison for a couple of years and sit in a cell and be made an example of. Because I tell you what, he's an idiot. It's all right after he punched Grealish and he got took off by the stewards. He's there going like this. Yeah, getting applauded. Um, United Tid says Shane been training hard for this um, drop us another email into the box I'll have a look at what you said about yourself and I'll drop your private email um, it's um, he's, you know he's sort of made himself a hero hasn't he by running on the pitch and, and smashing Jack Creelish what you need to happen now is straight to court three year sentence You'll serve three years all over the news, all over Sky Sports, all over the media, so that all those people that were applauding him and thought it was funny think, yeah, I'll never do that, though. It was funny, but I will never, ever, ever consider going on a football pitch again if the consequences are I could be taken away from my friends and family for three years sat in a cell. And that's what needs to happen because it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Look, there's, there's certain footballers I don't like, but you cannot, you cannot have a situation like that where people are running on the pitch and doing that. Never in a million years is that acceptable at all. Right, I think we'll play Berka Bjornsson in this game because Hurahan is out, unfortunately. And uh, that means we'll have to use... Uh, ah, Frankie. I'm not going to use him, actually. We've got somebody in the under-23 squad who's very good. And his name is... Where are you? Where are you now? I think it might be Callum O'Hare. Yeah, he looks good. So, Callum O'Hare can come in for Lansbury. Getting a bit of youth onto the squad, which is good. Uh, happy with that, happy with that, happy with that. I don't actually like Adama, you're not playing. Fed up with you. you shit, mate. Tahith Chong can play, and we'll use him in as an invite side forward to support. And that's what we're going to do. That's the bottom line. Stone Cold said so. Uh, look at Villa Report on Twitter, a thread of what he said on court in court, says Kyle 16. Maybe you can drop it in the live comments, Kyle. Well, Ollie's team had a.
Um, the wheel's off for Oli. Hopefully the wheel's not going to come off for us. Preston, right down near the bottom of the league. We're up at the top. These are the sort of games that I don't like in the championship, to be honest. They can be uh, a real pain. So let's see how we get on. I don't have a good feeling about this. Just like I didn't have a good feeling about the Arsenal game. Oh, Abraham nearly scored there. Taylor's made a bloody mistake. Pratt. To Ansibi, what a run. Into Balassi, loses it. Come on, Villa, get the first goal. Oh, yes! Tammy Abraham. Lovely stuff. Followed it in. I don't know what happens here. I think it is Grealish who shoots. And it's a mistake. Well, 1-0 up. Lovely stuff. Banana skin this is. We need to have a banana armour on. Good start, though. Ooh, good free kick. Somebody on about me playing FIFA again, Tyler Watts. Ooh, look how close to that is being over the line. It's not over the line, no. It's not over the line. It's not over the line. It's official. It's not over the line. Thogden's in the house. Good to have you, pal. I like your vlogs. Arsenal calling Ole Gunnar Solskjaer lucky and bang average. I don't think you're lucky when you've done what he's done for three months. But time will tell. Time will tell. I don't know why I'm nervous about this game today. It just feels like a battle. Oh, give him a bit of encouragement, Goldbridge. There's a lot of chances in the, for a first half. 15 chances for us, 9 for them. Not all on target, granted, but... We're having to work hard here. Go on, Chong. Now they're going up the other end. Get rid of it. It's end-to-end -end stuff. It's a good game. It's Grealish. It's Balassi. It's Tammy Abraham. It's 2-0. It was end-to-end -end like a bisexual hooker. But there it is. Balassi Abraham. Two goals for him. 2-0 to Villa. We'll take that at half-time. Unless they're going to get another goal. But here comes Balassi again. What's happening? Chong. Oh. Chester, Taylor, loads of good highlights in this game. Don't know why we're getting loads of highlights, by the way. That looked like a penalty. Corner. <laughs> Just need to get to half time. Well, we're there. We're there at half time. They've had three players booked. Start second half. Uh, the window is just about to open, Craig Rickett, actually. I've put out my scouts to try and get me a CDM because that's where we're a little bit weak. But I still don't feel that this game's definitely over. It could be now. Oh, Balassi. 20 shots to their 10. Who's not performing? Everybody's performing today. Really good performance all around. You can't knock it. Matic was rubbish yesterday, EB, but I thought Martial was rubbish when he came on because they're only just coming back from injury. They're, uh, they're, um, where's Angel Gomez? They're, um, they're only just coming back from injury, so you expect them to be a little bit rusty, wouldn't you? Look, Greenwood looked impressive, Alec Ducasse, I agree. 
I, I, I don't think we missed anybody yesterday. I think the formation wasn't the, the best for Pogba. I was talking about this on the United stand just. I mean, Pogba was basically playing as a left winger. I want to get back to 4-3-3 ASAP. Come on. We need the win here. Looking good. This would be a very good three points if we get it. Yeah, Chong. Bloody get in there. 3 0. What a good win this has been. I thought I thought this was going to be a banana skin, but uh, it's not been a banana skin. It's been an enjoyable banana milkshake. Um, we're going down to 10 men because Gamez has got a tight hamstring, but should be all right. Oh, shit. He says we should be all right. We should be all right, he says, but we've gone down to 10 men. If we were to load, blow this from 3-0 up, I think we're going to be all right now. I think it's safe to say we're going to get the three points. And that's it. 3-1. Very, very good result. Get out of Dodge. Hello, Mark, says has a boy 001. What team do you hate the most, says Noah Pitil? I don't really hate anybody anymore. Those days are sort of gone. It's not... I just don't think it does any good. Um, focus on your own problems. That's what I say. Give him a bit of uh, encouragement. And we move on. Um, Chronic Tie Second. Has had, have you had worse results at home than away on this save? Says Chronic Tie Second. No, I think we've been pretty strong at home, to be honest. I mean, somebody might want to correct me on that, but I think we have been pretty strong at home. Um, don't need a striker. Don't need a winger. 24-year-old midfield. No, too advanced. Full-back, full-back. Midfielder, 18-year-old midfielder. Too advanced. Forward. Too advanced. Absolute waste. You're wasting me bloody time. Up the villa, Mark, says Leah. <laughs> Terry heaps pressure on Leeds. John Terry said they know what they have to do in order to match our result, but can I have a negative on players? Good one, John Terry. Not just getting into your teammates' beds, getting into your rivals' heads. That's a good one. You can make a meme out of that. John Terry doesn't just get into rivals' heads, gets into their wives' beds, which is the other way around. So they did win Leeds anyway, so it didn't work, John Terry. Stick stick to shagging other players' wives because they won. So we're joint top with uh, Leeds and Swansea won as well. It's looking like three for two. It's not gonna. It's not a threesome where anyone is going to like. Someone needs kicking out of bed. It's going to be two promoted and one in the playoffs, but it looks like those three teams are going to run away with it, to be honest with you. Would I like to come to Caravan Club, says James Turner. Oh, is this an in-betweeners thing? Caravan Club. What stays on Caravan Club? QPR fifth in the league. Jeff says that Liverpool won't win the league in real life. I tell you what, this is what Arsenal fans are going on about. Oh, Spurs have got to play Liverpool away and Chelsea have got to play Liverpool away. What if Spurs and Chelsea know that their top four race is dependent on those results and they actually go and beat Liverpool, who are nervous about a title? You know, have you ever thought about it that way? I think we're all assuming Liverpool will beat Spurs and Chelsea at home and I think they should do, but you never know. You never know. How am I today, Mark, says uh, Luca. Um, I'm good, mate. I've got a bit of a cold lingering on, but I think the United Stand will hit 400,000 subscribers today. So, you know, I'd swap all that for a, a win yesterday. But in the grand scheme of things, that's a little bit of a positive. FA Cup third round against Rotherham after this one. Let's do the pre-tactical advice. Let's talk about tactics. Going to go a bit positive here. <clears throat> they did tweet Arsenal did tweet Unai's at the wheel I mean as I said 
fair play for winning the game, but they seem to be treating it like um, Burnley would if they beat United. And I thought Arsenal were meant to be a bigger club than that. Transfer window is open. Aston Villa central midfielder Jack Creelis could be on the move to where? Nine and a half million would be nice. Nine and a half million would do as nicely. I am going to sell Codger, Leah. I'm going to sell Codger and I'm going to sell Lansbury and I'm going to sell Berkerson as well. They're just not going to play enough games. Southampton make Chester offer 4.4 million. Um, rejected. I'll have a chat with him. promise him yeah he's happy now look as long as we get promoted I'm happy Aston Villa name is Hogan how did Hogan get in team of the week I didn't even bring him on that's a glitch Chong wins young player of the month absolutely superb goal of the month Hogan former Nottingham Forest boss scoops award Karanka How, was, how can he be former Nottingham Forest boss when he's just won it? I was third. Marcus Brown wins Young Player of the Month. Just thinking about signing him. No, he's not what I need. Could get 10 million for Chester, says Jabez. Man City will get Porto or Ajax as Faisal. Yeah, I, I, I think United do need a an easier run. Speculation is mounting over the likelihood of Aston Villa cashing in on Andre Green, as with only 18 months remaining his contract, he's yet to agree to new terms, uh, leading to suggest. Well, I think he looks a good player, that Andre Green. I'm going to offer him a contract. He'd be a good player to keep hold of, because remember, we'll lose Chong next summer. He's only on loan for a month. Um, MUFC 689908 says Mark could you say Will Scott is a shagger Will Scott is a shagger there you go I hope these aren't pre-ordered memes that people are going to now take of me because I should be charging for those I'm going to charge I will create memes for people at uh, £100 a, a word so there you go I'm going to start a business there <laughs> no, you're joking. right QPR We'll, st we'll stick with what we got. We'll stick with what we've got. But I can't stick with what we got because Taylor's injured. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, can't, I haven't even got a left back. Filter it down. Under 18. <laughs> left sided. Who can play left back? Mungo Bridge. He is a left back. He's only 18. It's time to make your debut, mate. Mungo Bridge. Who'd have thought you'd play in a game like this? Hi Mark, just emailed United Stand FC pal. This is Fellini uh, Fellian07. Okay, mate. Okay. Well, we're playing as some unknown 18 year old. Um, let's see how he gets on. Mark, I deselected defenders. <laughs> All right, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I put my hand up there. Well, it looks like QPR are starting a better team here. Cool. Go on, Chongi. 
That's a goal. You've got to score that. Balassi misses so many bloody one-on-ones. He's like Lukaku. He scores a lot of goals, but he misses sitters in big games. Tahit Chong is injured. This is not what we want to see. But we'll bring Gomez on. No, we won't. We'll bring Adama on. <sighs> oh, shit. Bit of an equal start, this. Chong's a big loss. We've got a young player playing at left back who's actually doing quite well, to be fair. Adama again getting bloody caught in possession because he's shit. What a run. Goal. Oh, that, down the left hand side as well. Mungo Bridge gets skinned. Look, rubbish. Uh, I'm doing watch along tomorrow night for the Aventus game and on Wednesday night for the Liverpool game. So, two watch alongs on this channel for you. Oh, look at that. Come on. That's terrible. Why was that even a highlight? Because QPR are going to go and score. That's why. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe we're going to score. Abraham. Oh, bollocks. bollocks. We're still with a better team. Yes! What? Disallowed. What's Abraham doing there? Offside. Didn't look offside to me. <laughs> yeah, bollocks. Can't make any more loans to Connor. We've got all the loans we need. God, Belassi's playing shit. Get him off. The crowd are shouting, get him off because he's shit. Let's see if we can turn this around a bit. Is that a penalty? Yes. Who's taking the penalty? Yes. Abraham, 1-1. One, one. We're back in it. Don't be losing games at home. We don't do that. Let's find a win. Attack, 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 says Faisal. You get the feeling there will be a winner in this game. They look tired. We look tired. Can Angel Gomez be the difference? Tahit Chong's gone off. Goldbridge out. Had enough of it, Robbie, says Bob. Oh, I thought they'd scored then. QPR trying to get a winner there. Fifth, remember. Adama. Come on! That was a chance. That was a chance. Come on. Can we find a late winner? McGinn, wide. Draw's looking like a fair result. And it will be a draw. Or will it? Bloody QPR. Ooh, tell you what. They nearly won it at the end. Uh, Nick Gurr, happy birthday, says Mason Tomlinson. There you go. Yeah, well, James Chester should look stressed because it was his bloody fault we lost. Got skinned. 
Tahith Chong injured for three to five weeks. Yabba dabba do. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Get well soon, Mark says Abish. Oh, it's only a cold. It's only a cold. It won't stop me doing anything. So I'm trying I have got Scout Manzi is a centre back. He's valued. Currently operating at Vanarama National Level. He has the potential to be a Sky Bet Championship player in the future. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be a Sky Bet Championship team. Zach Clough is a forward. He's on loan from Nottingham Forest. I have observed Zach Clough play for Aitman as a striker. I'm not spending two million on a striker. Terry is still trying to wind up Leeds. Look, John Terry. I didn't think this was. Let's watch this back for a bit of uh, just a little bit. This was the goal we had disallowed against QPR. I think it was onside. Let's see. Let's see if you can get dodgy goals disallowed on Football Manager 19 or is it completely, complicitly fair? Here it comes in. Tammy Abraham. Oh, he looks offside to me. What a, what a conclusive angle that was. Thanks for that. Well worth it. Cup game coming up against Rotherham, who are are they in the Skybet Championship? No, oh, they're in League One. <clears throat> no, no, they're not. He's worth 1.7 million. I've just started you. Oh, piss off. I'm fed up with these liars. Mark, come my caravan on Friday. It will only cost £150, says James Turner. I can't go away this weekend, James. There's this, this football on, I'm afraid. So if Rotherham are down near the bottom in the uh, Skybet Championship. I mean, it's how serious do you take the FA Cup? How serious do you take the FA Cup? I don't know. I don't know. Cheers for all the content you put up, mate. Appreciate it, says Tyler Watts. I'm all, and Dalraj says, are you looking forward to the Wolves game on Saturday? Look, at the moment, I'm more looking forward to the Watford game after the international break because you lose a league game, you want to get back on the horse and win a league game. Um, but I think come Saturday, I'll be looking forward to it. Friday, you got the Champions League draw as well. So I think you just got to work your way through the loss yesterday, haven't you? It's disappointing. It's still a bit raw. But I think by Saturday, we'll be all right. He's worth 1.7 million and they're giving nah, reject. Look at them lot, they're all shit players anyway. They're all easy to bloody manipulate as well. Just tell him what I just told him there. 
Jacob's not been on Twitter since the last... I was on it straight last night. Straight last night. Bring it on. I ain't bothered. You're going to lose football games, aren't you? I'm still. Where are we in the league, says Daps? Good point. I think we're probably not top anymore. Because we drew, didn't we? Bjarnathan. 2 million. He's worth 3.4. Fenerbahce. Yeah, well, he can bog off. He's, in, he's not speaking to Krasnodar. There you go. Just told him it wasn't good enough. Jose is a shoe in for PSG, says Jay Legend. I mean, that's a very good point from Jay. Very good point. I think Tuchel will get the sack, and I think that you're absolutely right. I think that PS when Mourinho was here last, last he was talking about it, wasn't he? So, um, I think that you're right. Zidane has gone back to Real Madrid. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What's that all about? I'd heard about that. It's weird, isn't it? Really weird. Well, he was never coming. You know, we're going to get Solskjaer, aren't we? We're not going to get Pochettino. Zidane's gone to Madrid. Um, yeah. Might do a video on that. Jared Pessiman has just said, I bet Jose goes to Madrid. He's obviously not got the news about Zidane. But you wonder why Zidane left Madrid in the first place to go back. It's like, I, I had respect for Zidane leaving because it's like, you know, I want to go and do other things. But then you go back. Really weird. Exactly, Ibi. I, I think I, I agree the same. FA Cup traditional FA Cup game coming up. Well, it's not traditional. It's just a, it is just an FA Cup game. Jay Legend says it never ends well when you go back. Who will go to you? They then says four one nine zero in Prince Conte could go there. <laughs> do 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 do. Couple of changes for the cup game, just keep it a bit fresh.
yeah, probably will need it will mean the end of Gareth Bale, won't it? Cup game. Play. One nil. Hurahan back in the team. Third goal of the season. Yabba dabba do. Smashing. Literally. Bloody hell, he scored again. What happened there? I thought we scored. Missed. We're all over them like the mist, like a mon like a morning mist. Jared Passerman says, "How the hell did he agree to go back? So many legs to this story about Zidane." Come on, let's get the second goal. Get this game done. That's it. We're all over him here. We've had three shots on target to there, none. And we're one nil up. JJB Gaming says I can see Neymar at Madrid next season. I mean young stoppers, that's what I thought. No Ronaldo, no party. Um It'd be a good test for Zidane. A lot of people feel that Zidane um, is... Uh... Four hundred million. He's what he's been promised as Archie. But it'd be a good test to him because a lot of people think, oh, Madrid, Zidane wins because he manages Madrid. But we've seen what Madrid have been like without Zidane and Ronaldo. Let's see what they're like now with Zidane back. 2-0, Tammy Abraham. Game over. They ain't coming back from that. Hazard will probably go there, to be fair. Do, 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 do. Right. Give this team another 15 minutes or so and then make three subs. Job done. Yeah, I'm with Gemini. I don't know why I left in the first place to come back. I saw something about Guardiola agreeing to go to Juventus Faisal as well. I think it'd be very weird. This should be about 4-0. Comfortable game, this. Wish it was a league game. Imagine if Jose went to City, he'd be, my God. Right, let's make three subs. Keep it... Uh, Keep it real. Glenn Whelan. Angel Gomez. And Scott Hogan. Oh, no, no. Not Scott Hogan. Callum O'Hare. For Jack Grealish. There we go. Archie says Pep doesn't stay long anywhere. I think if they win the league this year and they win the Champions League this year, he would probably go because what more can you do? He likes to go out on top, doesn't he, before he gets tested, Pep. Doesn't like to go out to failure. Oh, cup tie on. 2-1. Vassell. They mentioned him, didn't they? Poor defending by Sheaf. Too fucking slow. This could be an interesting cup tie. And Jared's right. If City get massive penalties from FFP, Pep will just go. Oh, 
Are we going to hang on? Goal. Oh, what a miss. Adama's shit. We should have won this game comfortable. Two one is a it's a bloody joke, two one. Oh Adama scores three one. There we go. Game over. Zidane is not confirmed actually, says GHK. I don't know, I'm playing a game. Bad game management here, says Nathan Dye. Not when you win three one. Comfortable win, rested some players, got some players off early. Happy days, happy days. I have got a cold Adam Hunt. Quality of possession provides big T. Send John Terry. 135k for winning a cup game, that's good. Praise Hurahan. Bjarnason. It's all too low. He's worth 3.4. Need to start bringing some cash in. I think Arsenal fans do overreact on everything, the only pro. Yeah, I think they overreact when they lose, and I think they overreact when they win. I think Monchi's going to Arsenal, isn't he, Gemini? Gemini. I think Chelsea will sack Sarri. I think I think Sarri was sacked the minute the minute that thing happened with Kepa. Obviously, he'll stay till the end of the season. Right, what's our next game? Skybet Championship, Wigan away, the mighty Vigon. United's then banter has actually made Arsenal relevant in football again, says Jay Legend. Do I think Oli with United would have won the league if Oli took over at the start of the season? No, no. I I think Oli Gunnar Solskjaer would have had top four sewn up by now if he'd been here since August. But I'm one of those fans who personally think that United need to spend two hundred million, whether they've got Oli or not. I think we're we are a way off Liverpool and, and City, even with Oli. That squad's not good enough. Uh, it still needs. I mean, a lot of people giving Matic uh, stick yesterday. I, like, I think Matic does a good job, but I still think we need somebody better in that position. We definitely need, need a right-sided midfielder and a, and a, and a top-class centre-back as well. Uh, Philip Stoffers, I like the idea of this quick pick option in the team selection menu. Uh, maybe we can find that for the next game. I quite I like that, Philip. I've never even heard of it. I think Sarri should have benched Kepa for the rest of the season, Ibi, but I think that um, I don't think he was allowed to do it. To be frank. So, who are we going to get in the FA Cup fourth round? Aston Villa to play Crystal Palace. That's not a bad draw. That's not a bad draw because we're at home. Chance to play a Premier League club. Craig Warburton says, why be a manager if you pick a t if you quick pick a team? Says, yeah, good point. Good, good point well made, Craig. We took it on board. I just want to know how to do it, that's all. Do 
Ben Sheaf injured, out for two weeks. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. Why is every some everyone so bloody expensive? He has got good potential for a centre back. I don't need why are they scouting players that I don't bloody need? I sort of do need that. He looks alright actually. Uh, play 90 minutes for Stuttgart under 19s. Why is he playing for under 19s when he's 31? And he can play CDM. He's quite in he's quite an interesting player. We haven't got the money for him. Great. Keep scouting. Andreas Pereira. See if we can get him on loan. That's interesting. Andreas Pereira would be a good signing. I'm looking forward to the F1 being back, Douglas, yes. Andres Pereira would be a good player to get in on loan, I tell you that, for free. I've got four United players on loan then. Tips for Football Index, Wilhelm. Have a look around on the forums, but really I just focus on the players that I know are going to go increase in value. Um, and also players from my club that I know are going to play a lot of games and get better. So I was quite fortunate to jump on Football Index when United, when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer became United manager because play, player values were low. We've got Andres Pereira to the end of the season. Nice. Thumbs up. Yeah, I'd like James Bree back. Bree loan finishes, good. What's this? 17 year old, hot prospect. Good one for the future there. It's all getting a bit complex with all these transfers. Mr. Exclusive has got a good point there. He's basically saying anybody who's disappointed with the Arsenal result yesterday, if you were offered this just before James E. Mourinho was sacked, you'd bite the hand off. And it's, it's very, very true. Very, very true. What's going on here? My client is waiting on the outcome of the promise and is therefore happy to remain at the club for the time being.
Uh, Star Wars Geek says, would you rather have lost to PSG and won at Arsenal or vice versa? Now, I said this, I think I said it on a video as well. Um, I would rather... Um, I would rather have uh, beat PSG. I think before the PSG game, I might have felt differently, but when you know, you can't start, you can't, uh, you can't change that. Leeds left back, keep scouting. I got the money at the moment. Right, let's get a game of football on here. It's been a while. Too much. Uh, Too much transfer stuff and not 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 football. So uh, let's have a look at the uh, uh, league table before we play Wigan away. This is always a tough game in a championship when you're playing away from home. Mickey boys just discovered my channel. Subscribe if you're new, Mickey boy. Bottom right hand corner. Drop a like. We are doing a Juventus Atletico Madrid watch along tomorrow night, and we're doing a Liverpool Bayern Munich watch along on Wednesday night. So join us. For those, and 8 o'clock tonight on the United Stand should hopefully be, fingers crossed, 400,000 subscriber special. I've got a super chat here from PJ Maguire. Champions League semi-final draw on Friday as well. Path to the final will be clear. Also, Mark, did you watch Hurling or Gaelic football when in Ireland? I watched a little bit, PJ, but no, I'd be a liar if I said uh, I was massively interested in it. Oh, we're top of the league by a point. Leeds must have lost a Drew again. Still very tight at the top. Wigan a long way off. So we brought Andres Pereira in on loan. I mean, the, the, there is a problem with that because you got to, you can only have so many low knees in your team, in your squad. Uh, PSG is mum's credit card team. James Turner says, Mark, don't chat about F1. You don't know about it. Yes, I do, James. I did watch-alongs on them. So sit down, you absolute twat, because you've been made to look an idiot there. Thanks. Why not a Man City watch-along, says Craig Rickett? Because... No one supports Man City. Juventus last Atletico Madrid is a far more interesting game. That's what we do on this chan channel. We go with the interesting option. Man City are going to go through. Boring. Boring. Right, let's get this game on here. Too long. It's been too, lo too long between games here. Oh, God. Right. No. You know those 400,000 subs tune in for me, says Mad Marcus. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Do, 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 do. Bloody Taylor again. Suspended again. How can he keep being suspended? It makes no sense. Right, Twan Sibi's got to play there. James Bree. Can you play left back, mate? Not really. Not really, mate. It's not really my position. Fucking hell. Can you? No, not really. It's not my position. I thought we got Andres Pereira on loan. That's, that's useful, isn't it? <sighs> right, we're just going to play Bree there. It's not his position, but fuck it. Fuck it. I think this, that's the laziness of having a cold. You just do stupid things. Shouldn't have done that.
Only 70, 000, 70 subscribers away from 400k on the United stand. It says United forever. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll hit it tonight. At some point. James Bree's got a 6.8 so far, though, so he's doing okay at the left back. This would be a very good win if we get it. Oh, what was that? There you go, look. What a tackle that was by Bree. If we score from there. Oh, bloody hell. And then he gave him a chance. Makes a great tackle, then passes it. Look, Bree with the assist. Twat. Absolutely. The stupid selection I made has done us. Makes a great tackle, then passes it to him. Oh, lardy, lardy. Lardy, lardy. What a twat. Come on, mate, don't start, you know, DT Dome's you, says James Turner. I don't know what that's all about. Misplaced pass from Bree, says Krista, exactly. He's having a shit game as well. We are, we're, we're having a shit game. We're, 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 not, we're not playing well in this. We're not playing well in this, and it's all because of me. Going down the left-hand side again, look. Come on, Hurahan. Oh, you bloody hell. What's his name again? Balassi. When you need him to score again, missing one-on-ones all the time. Bloody Balassi. Cheers, Brian Werner. Half time, one down. Time to get aggressive. Start the second half. Well, I always say, if you can get, if you can win your home games and draw your away games, that's a good thing in the championship because the games come so fast. And there is Balassi. You see, misses a sitter, scores a worldie. Much it here. Algassi to, and he smacks it home. Sorry, I was looking at that there. Better, better. Right, we're going to have to sub Breeze. Crap, look at him. Who, but who can we take him off for? It's got to be Mika Richards. Sorry, lad. Chuck a young kid in at left back and destroy his career. It's the Paddy McNair effect from Van Hal by Goldbridge. Is there a winner? No, not like that. Can Villa find a winner? Yes! Tommy Abraham, it's 2-1! Assisted by Jack Relish. <coughs> Yabba dabba do. He's not offside. It's official and it's a lovely finish. Ooh, yabba dabba do. Mika Richards coming on and giving us a bit of experience. Wigan are in trouble here. Hurahan's playing shit. Frustrated by the feedback? I've got feedback for you. Get off the pitch. We've not hit 400,000 subscribers yet, Noah. We will hit it today, I think, but not yet. Hello. Go on, Abraham. Oh, he was doing a do of Van Nisseroy from his own half there. Oh, God. This would be a massive three points if we can get it. DSH MUFC says, I don't respect your opinions, Mark. I won't sleep tonight now. Somebody doesn't agree with me. Oh, God. I don't know.
I don't know who Frankie Farnell is, James Turner. I've seen his name a few times. That's football, which is this channel, but it's also an absolutely brilliant game. Even James Griffin of BBC Radio Manchester said, I must admit, I personally had this one down as a draw. Still, I've been proved wrong, and Aston Villa have come away with a result that we'll be delighted with. You're right, James, Jamie Griffin. Can I call you James? Um, and what a complete, what a comeback. Superb effort. You've got the Goldbridge seal of approval. That's a massive three points. Massive three points. Um... It's a boy, Craig, not a girl. And uh, Goldbridge inspires the villains. Let's have a look at the home page. And we are top. That's how good that result was. It gives us clear daylight on uh, Swansea with a three point gap. That's what you're working for. That's what you're working for. Leeds still to play. But if we look at how we've done on this stream today a 3-1 win against Preston away drew with them but then two away wins as well you've got to say to yourself you've got to say to yourself lovely stuff uh Leeds playing Derby they'll probably win that let's have a let's have a, let's have a, let's just have a wait and see if Leeds do beat Derby what's the plan for next season says L a lot of work. We've got to get a lot of work done for next season, to be honest with you. Sky's the limit. Because we've got a lot of lone players. Yes, Leeds did beat Derby. So, But we've got a three-point gap on third. I mean, it'd be nice to win the league, but ultimately it's about getting a gap on third place. And if I look at the next few fixtures, Hull at home and Ipswich at home... You'd hope to win both of those two. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Anyway, um, thanks, Mercury X. Um, James Turner, it's absolutely fine. Um, what's on the show for tonight? Says Archie, don't know yet. And... Thanks everyone for watching anyway. Um, subscribe if you're new, smash a like on the video and don't forget to join me at 8 o'clock tonight because I think it will be a United Stand 400,000 subscriber celebration which which we need after yesterday's shit show, don't we? But uh, thanks everybody for watching. I'll speak to you all soon. Good stream. We're well into the new year now. We're well into January in the stream and we're, we've, we're, we're, we're consolidating top which is looking good. It's still a bit of a battle to go but... The, the aim was to get promotion in the first season. We're going to make Europe. We're going to win Champions League number two for Villa. That's the aim. Thanks for watching.